one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the interior review of this beautiful 1999 Land Rover Range Rover P38 Callaway Edition. Very rare. And like I said in the exterior video, link in the description below and at the end of this video, it's not the golf club people. It's the super duper pooper scooper Corvette people. And that's who get the extra thing to this. It has a lot of performance options and different things they added, like the chrome tips and really cool Callaway stickers. Um, numbered placard inside and such. I'll show you that in a second. It's just a quick walk around to show you this different lighting. It's uh, shadowy out. So I wanted to show you at this time as well. And it's a great time to show the interior because it doesn't have any shadows and bright sun on part of it and shadowy on the rest. Now, one thing I forgot to show in the previous video, God, that truck looks good, is there is a ding right there and right there. Very, very hard to see. Very, very, very hard to see, but they're there. Trust me on that, trust me on that. Okay, let's show you the interior. Let's just get right to it. Uh, I didn't show under the back last time, dang it. I'm remembering little things here and I'm wanting to make sure. Just see just how clean this truck is. And I don't think the back or nothing has been converted on this. I'm pretty sure it's just all factory. And a lot of people would convert it. A lot of people would um, stick with this. And I think it had a slow leak on one of the bags. Um, but it's, it's all intact and everything. Okay, the interior looks good. The seats are not all tore up. Nothing like that. They're in great shape. Lighting and stuff. All that works. Everything. Dash looks great. Glass looks good. That is shrinking up and coming off over time. Around that inner piece right there. I can get that fixed if you want it. Um, this is discolored a little bit. Could use a good cleaning because I'm seeing it clean up. Right there from rem blah, 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 me rubbing it and guarantee this dust from just setting. Little pinhole like somebody got in with their keys a lot right there. That's the only thing I can find over here. On this. Nowhere on the pedals. It's a low mile rig. I'll show you how many here in a second. Nowhere on that. None. I love that chrome Range Rover. It's like the old body by Fisher things in the in the jibbies. Nice strong sounding doors. Oh, I took the keys out to where I didn't get auto locked out of this sucker. Yeah, buddy. Live and learn, right? I get a lot of people in my video asking to see the keys. Well, it's really important on this one I show you because the buttons have came off of this one. Transfer neutral. Oh, yeah. I left it in um, that. Window not set. Airbag fault. And it will kind of crank, but it doesn't have a coil pack on it. Um, it needs a coil pack. Other than that, I'm going to leave it in neutral because I'm going to be doing it, so it's warning me for that. There is 89,000 miles on this truck. Isn't that amazing? It's hardly nothing for a 99. Um, I'm not going to mess with the air because... Of course, the air is. They're not set. That's right. Now you're going to have to put up the beeping because that's what you're going to have to put up with. There's two. There's three. And I'm going to tell you again on that tent. I don't know if it's illegal <laughs> in your state. Look at there. Look at there. You have to set that to your house. I don't know what that is. It looks pretty cool, but I don't think it really is nothing. Um, auto locks work. Um, haven't been in one of these so long, I forgot how to lock the doors. I really did. You can't believe this. I literally forgot how to lock the doors. Okay, well, let's look at the mirrors. Hopefully you can see. There you go. That side. Out. In. I'm going to set them to where I want them. Up. 
down this side I just actually took all my pictures with that mirror bumped in can you believe that dang it I'm gonna have to retake pictures now yeah, I've got somebody ringing me up gotta make sure it's not an emergency no and well I can't get that right now I'm sorry people Okay, sorry about this too. I'm just losing my one-way mirror. That one's still working. Well, there we go. I didn't have it all the way over. Out. In. These haven't been used in a long time. Down. I'm gonna look more out. Move it down. I love it. Okay. So all that. None of that. There's your wipers. There's your back wiper. And All the settings and the lights work. Even your... Oh, I should show you that. Oh, man. Light up the side of that Trans Am right now. All them work. Them work. These should work. And then they... That it hadn't been opened in a while. Okay, now, these pieces, all that is just disintegrating. Um, same thing for that side. Same thing for behind the pillars here, and that's pretty common on these. If you're used to these P38s, see that? There you go. So that's all easy to recover, actually. Um, I could have that done very inexpensively for you, if that's what you would like. Let's get this thing here out. I am going to show you the back seats, which don't look to have hardly ever been sent in. Oh, I left it in neutral. Because we were gonna move it, I don't have the um, ignition coil or coil pack. And I'll show you them parts. I've got them over here. And then the struts on this are a little weak. All the back package tray and everything is there. Everything, including that piece, is in great condition. That? I haven't even. You know what? I've had this, and I haven't. I don't even know if it's clean in there. Look at that. I mean, I know it's clean in there, and um, it's perfect. And uh, yeah, all that stuff's in there. Oh, that's the carpeting. Um, these struts, like I say, need some strutting. Easy items on eBay. Seats just are nice as can be. Backs of the front seats are nice as can be. Headliner is sagging. You can see it over there in the window hanging. And right up to the front piece right here. It's nice. There. But right here it's not so nice. Um, I can get a headliner put in for about 120 bucks. 150 bucks. But the problem with that is I'd have to get it towed up there and towed back. So that adds to it 40 and 40. So a couple hundred bucks. You have a headliner in it if you don't have someone cheap in your area to do it. Other than that, I'm going to show you under the hood. Okay. Now the struts on the front work just fine. Absolutely beautiful under this hood. And not only that. I sure love that it says Callaway. That's just cool. These little tubes here go up and plug into the shooter screws. And that one's got a tube you'll need to get for it. An end. Some holes in that. And back in there. And rubbing and different things over time. Look at that.
89,000 miles. I mean, it's not even broken in yet. The rubber back here is in great shape. All your body's in great shape. No rust, I believe these are all aluminum. Oh, missing a bolt right there, by the way. Okay, catalyst. Well, we know what they are, they're all the same. It's a 4.6, that's a little, co not corroded, like the top of the sticker's kind of messed up. So that's that. Okay, well, that's under the hood. That's around the car. That's the inside. It's everything to do with this Range Rover I can think of. I'm gonna give you another walk around just because it's kind of got a little darker and such. And your mirror's popped out the way it's supposed to be. Jeez. But absolutely beautiful. And if you got any questions on this truck, you can call me. Name's Nathan, 406 546 8748. www.oneownercarguy.com. God, look at down the side of that thing. I'm serious, I like it. I'm very bummed that I didn't get to drive this a lot. Um, I just sell. I just end up selling. Okay, that's the deal. I'm going to clip in a pick of some parts here for a second. Okay, this piece was with it, which has some kind of a plastic connector with that in it. And then a, a gear looking, I don't know, it seems like some kind of a cable or, or I don't know. Cable came with it. There's your little Ruder Tudor scooter shooters for the windshield washer fluid. There's a gas tank cover that likely would go right back on. And that's not broken, which they usually are. And this piece is all there. I don't know why it's not on there. Um, there's a little tray piece. And here is your coil pack that is supposedly the problem. That's missing a cap. Makes you kind of start wondering. Um, it's all marked two, three, four, seven, eight, five, six, one. Yeah. So that's your parts. I'm gonna actually take a picture of these as well. Um, it'll all be included with it. I wanted to show you this before it got too dark. It does have the Range Rover disc player, but so you know, does not have the cartridge for it. Um, back doors open really easy. Sometimes this door, I give it a good push. Now I didn't show you the seats either. There's forward, there's backward, there's up in the front, there's down in the front, there's up in the back, there's down in the back, there's the backrest or whatever you want to call it, the reclining back. And then let me do, I think that's, yeah, okay, hang on. It's definitely pumping up. Stereo missing. I will sell you one for this if you want. Actually, what am I talking about, stereo missing? No stereo missing, it's just a, <laughs> uh, there is a Rockford Fosgate bass thing that you can, Use for an amplifier if you're going to put something like that in it. Um, also, let's get this same thing. Oh, and around there, as you can see on that leather, is definitely. And it's probably going to ask for a code. It's not coming on. So. Let's just say the stereo's not hooked up because the kid probably had a different thing than the kid, the guy. It's probably not hooked up because the guy had a different CD player in here. I mean, I doubt he ran it through the factory thing, but I don't know. Um, also, that's not coming out. So it could be a fuse for everything there. Let's just say, I don't know! Also, a tear right there. Not the air up there, the chair right there. Okay, that's it. Just wanted to make sure I got everything I could in there. That's all I can think of, see, or anything else. And I've seen a couple more things. Wanted to make sure you've seen it. Also, the door panels. I didn't show you. All the wood inserts and everything back here are great. The other side. And this one opens fine. It just, you know, I let go of it there. I'm slippy. I'm a slippery guy here. Forward. 
backward, up, down, up in the back, down in the back, recline back, recline up. Oh wow, the whole thing goes up, the whole thing goes down. This is cracked. Let me try out the lumbar. There's the letdown and the pump up. All works. Okay, I want to show you the other door panel because there is a tiny bit of separate. The door handle gets stuck there. That's exactly what happens. And then that. And I don't cut that kind of stuff out. I want you to see it. Right there. Okay, and you can see here your hanging headliner. Thanks for watching. Put this in somewhere. I wanted to show this too, and I just didn't. It's really clean under there. I actually pushed the wires back under the seat, but they are in there if you wanted to use them. Oh. And really easy to slam them down and bring them up. There's just a little button back there. You can't see, but there's a button. So that's the deal. So that's the deal. Okay, showed you the part, showed you everything about the truck. That's all there is to say about it. Beautiful, neat truck. Right person is going to have a very rare, very collectible, just obscure truck. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. We'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuy.com